uh, they let you take any book you want. And there's hundreds of books around you. And every employee walks through that library every morning. And so it's a learning organization. And every big company I've studied is a, a learning organization. It tries to learn from its marketplace, and that's what I do at Rackspace by going around and interviewing tech executives. Now this is going to be a fun panel because we're talking about campaigns. Right? Old Spice. <laughs> is that a campaign? <laughs> Um, let me just uh, have these panelists introduce themselves and what they're doing and what they're seeing in the world of campaigns. I'm Ryan August and I'm the head of business development for Watchitude. And the reason I'm here specifically, other than of course live streaming the entire proceedings, is we're talking about campaigns that connect. So from my perspective, we're an interactive live streaming platform. And I'm connecting with you, and we're all connecting with each other today in a very visceral way because we're physically present with one another. And what our tool enables is, as much as is possible, for people to connect and replicate the experience of being physically present when, of course, it's not always possible to be in the room. I'm Blair Blossie with Public Relations. I'm a director there. And I run a lot of our social media work for our clients. And we um, specialize, I feel, in campaigns that connect. And uh, definitely not about racking up millions of followers, although that's nice. But if they're the wrong followers, it's not going to do any good. So we focus on connecting and not so much just marketing. Uh, and I'm Mark Budgel. I sit on the, uh, the PR team at, uh, at HP. Um, which is an interesting point because we're focused on, we're very decentralized when it comes to social media and we've been working hard to kind of define what each of the disciplines brings to the table. Uh, and interestingly enough, I may be on the wrong panel because we've taken a very kind of non-campaign approach uh, to our programs, particularly when it comes to leveraging influence. We understand how influence supports a campaign, um, but we also look really hard at, you know, what, what is the life of the relationship with an influencer or an ambassador, you know, before, after, and then during that. Yeah. So t tell me about some of the campaigns that are your own that you've seen that have worked in the, in the world, and then we'll bring the audience in and see what they're expecting us to teach them. But, um, you know, I, I've seen Old Spice. That, that, that was a, a traditional integrated campaign that integrated into their TV and their print and their other media, their online media, and got all of us talking for a week, right? Yeah, I wonder about that, though, because it was for a week. And it didn't really have a set end. We were actually talking about this last night, that the campaign itself, I mean, it, it went viral and everyone was talking about it. But it was for a week, and now it's gone. And, I mean, what we were kind of talking about earlier, you guys were talking about earlier, with the, having the long-term customer relationship, I wonder how much good that did, though. I mean, it was great, and it, it, had, it got a lot of clicks, but I wonder where that how authentic that relationship was, and if they still had the same people paying attention, or if it was a flash in the pan. I went and viewed videos. Well, have you seen somebody doing it right? Oh, gosh. <laughs> I know, right? No. I mean, it's, it's, it's so easy to go back to the, the ones that everyone knows are doing it right, but Zappos, they're there. They never leave. They're always responding. I posted something about But do you see Zappos as a campaign, or do you just see it as a good social media strategy overall? Laptops and 
soon to be tablets and other things out to bloggers and get the influencers to talk about their products. Anybody interested in that? A few. Um, do you want to talk about the kinds of campaigns like Old Spice? You know, where do where you think uh, the, the future of that could be where you can create a big splash and tell a story? More interested in that? And then uh, anybody else with any ideas about what you want to get out of this session? Speak up now. <laughs> okay.